Today we're going to discuss a very important topic, something that we all care about and hope that we can achieve as parents, which is to raise our kids on our family values, on our cultural values, on our religious values, on the things that are important to us. And I understand that this is becoming a lot more difficult recently because of the amount of exposure our kids are facing every day, whether through um, the television, the social media, the internet, um, things have not become as simple as it, they used to be. Things are more confusing, the peer pressure is becoming higher, connecting to my friends at all times is becoming, in a way or another, a fact of life. Uh, um, at, at a point of time in their teenage years, for instance. So what is my role as a parent in all this pressure? Because we have to think about it this way, it is very hard for the child themselves. It's confusing, it's... Um, um, I don't know what to do with all this information. I don't know what's right or wrong. I don't know uh, what do I need to respond to, how to figure out uh, what's going to work, how to fit, and at the same time stay who I am, how to accept my uniqueness when everyone wants me to be exactly the same. So here comes our role as parents. And the good news is, if things at home are stable, grounded, we know our values, we're clear about them, we're living them, and we do this with respect and love and warmth, this has an amazing effect on uh, our children for all their lives. They become grounded, they have roots. So even if they try new things at times, even if they, they deviate from these values at times, they would still come back because they know in their heart that this is what they believe in, what they've left, what, what, they, what they have lived, what they have seen as a successful model for family and life. So as much as it, it might seem hard for us to work on this, at the same time we need to remember that we can have an amazing role in the values that we build in our children. So let's think about this. How do children learn about values? What are values in the first place? Values are things that are important to us. It's something that is different from one person to another. For instance, uh, for someone, family can be the most important value for someone else, success, achievement, sometimes it's principles or um, things like being honest, being um, fair. Uh, there are a lot of values that we can help our children learn from, for instance, the names of Allah, there are a lot of values that we can help our children learn from the biography of Sayyidina Muhammad So let's think of it this way. Children learn about values through four main steps. The first step is by, talk, by, by us talking about these values. And talking doesn't have to be lecturing at all. Talking could be telling stories. Uh, from our history, from our culture, from Quran, from experiences that we personally have gone through. So if I'm talking about honesty, I need to give them examples when it has been hard for me to be honest, but I did it anyway. When I was honest and maybe it got me in trouble. Uh, when it was easier to lie and everyone else did and I didn't. And as well, I need to give them examples when I didn't manage to make it or when I made a mistake. And how did I stand up for this mistake and fix it? Because that, because that would be another value that I'm talking to them about. Uh, admitting mistakes and apologizing and trying to fix it. With a younger age, it's usually much easier for them to grasp this kind of ideas through indirect uh, talk, like telling stories, reading books, uh, watching uh, something about uh, the talks about this kind of value. Playing a game where we uh, for instance, are we being fair in the game or not? Are we um, reflecting on what has been happening in our day? Today it was, um, for instance, if we're trying to talk about the value of being grateful, so how are we talking about this? Are we expressing it? Are we explaining what it entails and so on? So the first part is talking about it. The second part is that we need to be living it as well. So if we're talking about it and we're not actually uh, walking the talk like we say, then it would be very confusing for the kids and it might actually have the opposite of what we want. Because as we might all know, children learn a lot more from what they see us doing than from what we tell them. So if we're talking every day about how family is important, 
but we're always busy with our work and our responsibilities and we never make up for time for family and we miss important family events and we don't even stop and apologize and try to make it up. They're never going to learn that family is actually important. They're going to learn that we talk about family as being important, but in reality, uh, some things are more important. Work is more important. So kids are very receptive and very attentive to how we act. So we need to make sure that we're living the values, we're modeling the values that we want them to actually live. And sometimes parents tell me, this is uh, very pressuring. Does, does this mean that I need to act to be perfect all the time? How come they live with me in the same house? And the answer is definitely no. Actually, if we're modeling that we're perfect, that would be a very big mistake. Because first of all, it would put a lot of pressure on the child thinking that they need to be perfect and no one is. And the second of all, that they will not accept when we make a mistake, which we will ne definitely make at a point of time. So it's not about being perfect, it's about how we deal with our mistakes, how we accept our mistakes and stand up for them, how we try to be better, how we all have things that we need to work on, how we as a family are trying to, to discuss what's best, best for us and accept feedback and learn from our mistakes and move on. So this is step number two. Step number three would be that we create the habits and this is sometimes what we miss. So even if I, my family is talking about being organized all the time and they are, themselves, my parents are actually organized, but they're not helping me create the habit of being organized, I'm not going to learn it. And habits need time and habits need patience and habits need to be broken down into simple tasks. And we all know things that we want to do better in life, like some of us want to eat healthier, some of us want to be uh, uh, calmer, some of us want to do more, um, bet a lot more better deeds, for instance. We're always trying to work on something and not just the fact that I know it's important means that it's easy to do and stick to. We need to develop a habit so we need to get back to our rules at home are they having the responsibility to, to do these habits at home or not do they know why it's important or not and this takes us to the fourth step is following through if i talk and i model and i have the rule but i don't do anything when the rule happens or does not happen then we're not finishing the deal so i need to praise and thank and reinforce when the habit is being performed and I need to have consequences and responsibilities and uh, uh, bearing the consequences of my actions when I choose not to commit to my uh, responsibility or my rule or my value. The last thing I want to say about values is that it's important to teach children that every family has its own values. The fact that there is, it's not about right or wrong as much as that we get to choose what we value, what's important for us. And this is very important to help our children learn about acceptance and about how people are different and how about we need to focus on what we do, not what others do. So we don't go into um, constant comparisons, see what my friend has been doing, their parents agree that they do that. The answer needs to always be every family is different and to clarify why we're choosing these choices. Why do we think this is important? Why do we value this value? And by this, we help them by time, learn about their values and stay grounded. Even when there is a lot of pressure from the outside, they know where they need to get back. Thank you and see you next time, inshallah.